Now it's time for It's Barely News, which is how we end the streams, where we go through the news that didn't quite make it to the big news, but we want to let you know about it anyway. So that means it is still news, and that means it's barely news. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first story up is going to be uh, a new thing from HG0 we want to shout out. HG0 has available on our website an HD0 VTX programmer. So for 15 bucks, you can buy this little thing, plug it into USB-C on your computer, and then you get a little app to update uh, your VTX over, over the internet. And yeah. you basically can use local firmware or do over the internet firmware. It'll automatically pull it in. You can choose any of your VTX types. By the time you get this, it should auto-detect your VTX for you. So you just click auto-detect and it's good to go. Um, yeah, and it flashes right there. So super simple. Yeah, uh, this is nice because plugging the VTX into the goggles is a gigantic pain in the ass. Just like the, it's like the most annoying part of owning HD Zero system. So now you can update the firmware on your VTXs without putting f putting the firmware on your SD card, putting the SD card in the goggles, plugging the VTX into the goggles, and then somehow making all that work. So thank you. Uh, well worth 15 bucks in my opinion. Um, oh, we can't show this next one, right? Well, we could show the page. Like, we'll show the website, but we won't show the video of it. Okay. Uh, so, a DJI drone has been used uh, in TNT basketball, uh, and people are uh, some people like it, and some people don't. Uh, basically, uh, again, we won't show the video, but uh, in some Oof. shots, the drone was like in the other shots, and when they transitioned in and out, it was pretty rough. <laughs> and they basically used a Mavic. It looked like a uh, Mavic Mini, maybe even, to just go back and forth, like side shots along the uh, court side. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Lots of mixed reactions. A lot of people really not liking it. So. <laughs> sure, the drone in full view is annoying, but don't worry. The picture it captures is awful. Okay, I got I to gotta look. I want to look. I'm going to look at it. I can't show it because we'll get a copyright strike. Or they'll take our video or whatever. But I have to see this. So, Plenty, I got, I got to mute. Hold on. I'm going to mute real quick. Okay. I'm going to mute this. Okay, now it's muted. Plenty, you're unmuted. I want to see this drone shot. Okay, they're playing basketball, right? Okay. Yeah, we got the oh, the right there's the drone. The, the drone is hovering. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... Okay. Oh, and here's the drone angle. It's It's not that. I don't feel like they like a It looks like a bad wire cam. That's like how it does. Using it. That's what it looks like. They're not out there. It's not like a like uh, I remember um was it the American Football League? I think that might have been yeah. the AFL who had a Cinewhoop on the field during plays. And so like you're like right there over the quarterback's shoulder and you're you know I was like oh I mean there's some cakes to work out but you're really bringing something to the experience. This is just like a Mavic hovering at at the sideline and then going down the down the court as the play progresses. Not that not that interesting. But uh hey, you know, it's a drone. So Next, Next up, up uh, the FAA has announced the Counter UAS Aviation Rulemaking Committee. And as the name might suggest, <clears throat> um, this is the committee that will talk about um, how to essentially uh, mitigate risks for drones. So uh, hostile or errant U.S., this will also be like safe and efficient operation around areas, um, of the entire airspace and stuff. Uh, and they've announced a list of members here. Um, you can see the members in that PDF. And uh, unfortunately, the only CBO listed there, the only recreational representation that I see on that list is the AMA. Um, and so we have pushed, uh, we've specifically requested to the right people in the FAA to join this rulemaking committee. We had done this previously. We were not a member. Um, so yeah, we are hoping to get um, added to this ARC so we can attend and make sure that we uh, Fighting for the fight for the wreck pilots. <laughs> I was annoyed until I read this comment from Kilo Zebra. Not surprising the AMA has joined the counter UAS arc. They've been doing counter UAS operations at their flying fields for years. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we will get added to this and, uh, we've definitely talked to everybody. I think we can, you know, we're talking to everybody we can talk to, to, to try to be a part. So, all righty. We'll keep you uh, Next up, 
we are going to look at the Pterodynamics XP4 Transwing sizzle video. A sizzle will we video. Get, will we get Pterodynamics surely won't copy strike us. Let's show so this, this is an video. ad, so I think they'll be happy to let have us show this. Yes. So they've developed a new VTOL design that I have not seen before. Um, well, damn. If you skip to, yeah, if you skip to about uh, like 20 seconds in. Okay, I will. Or we're actually, we're yeah, almost there. Like there. Okay. So it looks like a folding wing VTOL design. Takes off like a quadcopter with the wings folded. Yes. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. What's it going to do? Whoa. It's essentially tilt forward into flight and then slowly Whoa. transitions into wing fold out. I see. So the, the motors aren't on like servos or anything. The motors are rigidly affixed to the wings. The wings rotate into flight position. That's, that is pretty cool. Oh, it looks cool too. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, now we have a drone shot <laughs> inside their office. Cute. That is really cool. How long until somebody makes one of these with RG Pilot? Right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, I'd love to see some custom uh, drones of these. That would be great. That is really cool. So my understanding is this is they're looking at this for advanced air mobility. So this is like a demo, but advanced air mobility means like taxis for people in, you know, these uh, drones. Mm -hmm. So like the, these big UAS. So I think this will be like a plan for them to build a giant version of. And then hopefully it will be something that they can move people in. That's their goal. So Yeah, it certainly negates one of the advantages of a multi-rotor, which is... Uh, well, what I mean is that if you've got a multi-rotor, uh, you know, and you want to like stop, you just can stop and hover in midair, but something like this has to transition the wings to vertical before it can do that. And it's not going to be able to do that very rapidly, but, uh, the, the, can it glide? Can it glide? Like theoretically uh, it can glide, so. right? Yeah. It has oh. to be able to get glide. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Sold. Win as winning. As soon as it transfer. Yeah, as soon as it pops into that wing mode, it's got to be able to glide, right? So your that's only risk would be takeoff and landing, essentially. That's really cool. And then you that's could have really cool. redundancy even on like a full one. Well, so, and, yeah. And right, so if you're in uh, fixed wing mode and you lose a motor, hey, you, great, you, you're still flying. Yes. Now you have to land like an airplane instead well, of a VTOL, a lot but hey, than yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> oh, this is badass. This okay, is really like badass. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, all right. Uh, well, our favorite our favorite things to show on the, the on it's barely news are dogs being rescued by drones, and we've got two of them this week. Aren't you glad you stuck around to the very end? Oh my God! It's seven fifteen. We're fifteen minutes over. Aren't you glad you stayed? Here's what we got. Yeah. Uh, the first one we've got up is. Uh... Yeah, there were some lost dogs found with a thermal drone. Uh, we always like to show these because it's really cool to see uh, these drones in action, and we want to show off how how great they are at finding, uh, finding oh, lost stuff like pups. Oh, look at those little babies! Oh, a coyote would just oh my goodness! We have to rescue them, and they're using a thermal camera. That's pretty cool. Very useful for this kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. I think it, for these kind of operations, it's really key to have some <gasps> kind of thermal, thermal camera. We got it. We got the dog. We found him. Where is it? How did they even find it at that distance? Jesus. It's a, a long video. They go through the whole kind of operation so we can see them come back together and get that uh -huh. comparison. But yeah, it's pretty cool wow. for them to see that far away. That is really basically man. nailed the white hot, I guess, <gasps> with the thermal, and then we're able to zoom in with the real camera and get a comparison. And then we got a link in the video description if you want to watch the whole thing. Then here comes the human, and the doggo is wagging its tail. Oh, it's so happy we found him! And now they're giving the doggos treats. Oh, there's two doggos. Yeah, there they are. I'm sure they're giving the doggos treats, and the doggos are home again. Oh, yes. Well-deserved rest. See? Drones save doggos. Okay, well. We got one more. 
Yeah, we got one more doggo that got saved. Uh, yeah, this is a lost bloodhound they found using a thermal drone as well. Um, these guys do drone deer recovery where they go out with their drone and they find a uh, you know deer that they shot or somebody else shot so they can make sure that they locate them and they're not like missing that sort of thing. That's at least my understanding of what they do. And uh, in this one, uh, the dog actually uh, got away from him. One of the bloodhounds got away from him in a hunting trip. So they came out with a thermal drone and instead of looking for the deer, they were looking for the dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and there they are. Now they don't have a thermal camera, so they got they got their work cut out for them. Uh, yeah, they, they had a thermal in there. I don't know if they just oh, don't they have did. that view showing. Yeah, oh, okay. but they were able to... Uh, use a thermal. There they are, though. We got the dog. And we rescue the dog? Where's the doggo rescue? We're going to get the dog. Oh, we get first person of the doggo being rescued. Yeah, pull up your pants, buddy. Get a belt. You need a belt. You can't be out in the woods without a belt. Maybe some suspenders. That's a life, that's a life lesson. I'm going <laughs> to the woods without a belt. Yeah. Suspenders, maybe. Excellent camera work. Yeah. Yep. I, if I get a doggo at the end, it's all worth it. Come on. I don't want to skip ahead and miss it. Where's the... Uh... Oh, there's the doggo. Yay. He's like, hey, guys, what's up? Uh, just chilling. Oh, are you worried? No, no, I'm good. Oh, wait, is he tied to something? Has he gotten tangled? Oh, yeah, I think he had a leash on. He got caught. Yep. <gasps> oh, no. Now I think the whole thing was faked. Just faked. They tied him up out there. Well, they people not. do that. I'm not just being cynical. Anyway, 